everybody. All right, in this video, I'm gonna discuss with you guys even versus odd nth roots. Before we even continue, pause the video and copy this down. Welcome back. So basically, all this is saying is that when your nth root, meaning this number right here, is an even number, whatever answer you get, make sure you put plus or minus in front of your solution. If your nth root is an odd number, whatever answer you get, that's just what you get. All right, let's look at this first example. It says the fourth root of 81. Pause for a second. You're probably wondering, how do I type that in the calculator? <laughs> I got you. First thing you're going to do is press math, then press the number five. And then this should pop up on your calculator. When it does, just type in four for the nth root and 81. And then you'll see that it equals three. But since this is an even number, my final answer will be plus or minus three. All right, let's do the same thing for the cube root of 81. Just a reminder, you press math, number five, and then type in the three for nth root and 81. It's gonna say that it equals three. Since this is an odd number, my nth root is an odd number, my answer would just be three. All right, now let's do the cube root of negative 81. Press math, number five, to get that. Type in three as your nth root and negative 81 under the radical side. And then you'll see it equals negative three. Since this is odd, it's going to equal negative three. And that's it. 